Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Draft League. In this video, I'll be going over the rules of the new season of the Pokemon Draft. If you're new to the draft, we'll be going over all the details you'll need to know, and if you're a returning trainer, we'll be covering some of the new rule changes that occurred between seasons. Let's just dive right into it. In this draft league, multiple trainers will draft teams from a pool of Pokemon and then battle each other, eventually leading to a playoff season and then a grand finals to crown the league champ. You will battle each of the other trainers over the next few weeks in a round robin format. After the round robin is over, the playoff season will begin, where you'll battle it out in a double elimination bracket. While battling with your Pokemon is important, drafting your team is probably more so. The way the draft works is that there is going to be a giant pool of Pokemon each trainer can pick from, and all of those Pokemon have been placed into tiers. Each trainer gets one free Pokemon from each tier. That means a free Pokemon from Tier 1, from Tier 2, Tier 3, and so on. Each trainer also gets 400 spending points. All available Pokemon have a certain cost, Tier 1's costing the most at 180 points, and Tier 5 costing the least at 40. You are free to spend your 400 points on any available Pokemon when it is your turn. An example draft would be something like this. Red picks the Tier 1 Pokemon Tyranitar first. Then it's Blue's turn. Blue's first pick is the Tier 1 Pokemon Toxapex. Green goes, and Green's first pick is the Tier 3 Pokemon Bronzong. And now it's Red's turn to pick again. And Red chooses to spend 180 of his 400 points on another Tier 1 Pokemon, while Blue grabs a Tier 2 Pokemon for free. And Green uses her turn to grab a Mega. It's important to look at the tiers of Pokemon and have some idea in mind before the draft including having backup Pokemon. Don't bank on getting every Pokemon that you want, since somebody might snatch one up before you. Don't worry if your team isn't perfect, or if you end up not liking it after a while. In the Pokemon Draft League, you may add or drop any Pokemon to and from your roster, but be sure to have your roster finalized by playoffs, because you will no longer be able to add or drop any Pokemon from your team once playoffs begin. Make sure to check the private Discord regularly to see upcoming matches as well as the rules. An also notable thing about your draft is that you can switch your Pokemon's abilities, natures, and moves between battles. If one week you're using a Pokemon with one ability, you can end up switching that ability next week to something different if it helps you in your next fight. Some of the major changes between this new season of the Pokemon Draft League and last season are that the Gen 8 tier has been removed and is no longer a drafting requirement. Teams are now given an extra 100 points to use, upping it to 400 from 300. If you meet all of the tier requirements, any round after the sixth round, you may forfeit your remaining picks to hold your free points. The moves removed in Gen 8 are no longer forbidden. To see what those moves were, be sure to check the Discord. Moves banned for other reasons are still banned. Aegislash, Landorus Therion, Tapu Lele, and Tapu Koko have been unbanned and moved to Tier 1. Darmanitan Galar is restricted to the ability Zen Mode. Gliscor and Ferrothorn moved from Tier 2 up to Tier 1. Don't forget to check out the new tier list that you can find in the Discord. There is also going to be an updated schedule to allow for more teams and to keep the regular season an acceptable length, some trainers are going to have to have two matches per week. Every game will be up in the Discord with links for the players to watch live or later on. It's useful information to see what teams people are running, and to see what team you'll be up against next, and the play styles of your future competition. The draft is getting ever nearer, and the competition is looking pretty tough. But don't forget that this is for fun, and not to let the pressure get to you. Win or lose, everybody's here to have a good time and just play some Pokemon. Good luck, trainers, and welcome again to the Pokemon Draft League.